All right, so the next type of association is the head menu to association. So uh, this one uh, sets up a many to many connection between two models via a third, a third model. So let's take a look at the uh, Ruby on Rails guide in the Ruby, uh, Ruby on Rails official website. So in this uh, the has many uh, through association section here we can find find this uh, example so this example illustrate that a physician can have many patients through appointments and uh, a patient can have many physicians through appointments that means if you can see here physician ID and patient ID so you can have uh, an appointment a uh, with ID of the physician James for example and a patient called John and uh, this physician can have an appointment B uh, with another patient which is Mary and so on so uh, let me um, make this example in a real Rails application so uh, I'm going to create three models the physician patient and um, Appointments. So, Rails, the model, And this is the uh, appointment model. And then I'm going to create, update my database and create those uh, my database tables, physicians, patients, patients, and appointments. So rake, db, migrate. And now I have those three tables inside my uh, SQLite 3 database. So let me open up my project here, uh, models, I have three models, patient, physician and uh, appointments. Now I will set up the uh, connection between my models. So let's start with physician, let me zoom in so it will be more clear. Okay, so a physician has many um, appointments and has many um, patients to uh, appointment okay so uh, this is my physician model so a, a physician has many appointments and has many patient patients through appointments so uh, let's jump to the next model which is which is patient okay so my patient has many uh, appointments too and it has uh, many physicians physicians I don't know why physicians through um, appointments okay this is my patient model and finally the appointments uh, model so an appointment belongs to uh, uh, a to a patient, and it belongs to um, physician. Okay. After setting up the connection between my models, uh, in the example here, uh, you can notice that my appointment appointments table uh, contain the physician ID and the uh, patient ID so because an, appoint an appointment is between uh, a physician and a patient so this table here will contain the first the primary key of the physician and the primary key of uh, that patient so um, I'm going to create two migration and uh, to add the uh, the foreign key to my appointments table so rails g migration add patient ref to uh, appointments so rails g migration add patient ref 
So patient, patient references. Okay, this is my first migration, and the second one is add physician, physician ref to appointments, and it will be physician here. Okay. Let me now take a look at the DB uh, migrate and let me see my migration files. So everything is done. So add reference appointments patient for NQ true and this is the first migration. Okay, now I'm going to update my database table to uh, add those foreign keys to my appointments table. So I'm going to run DB migrate. Okay, the foreign keys were added to my appointments table. Now I'm going to run to open my Rails console to test my uh, the connection between my models. So let me clear this up. And now I'm going to create um, a physician object. I'm going to call it C1. Sorry, I have to open the Rails console first. So let me take, type Rails C. So I'm going to create a, a physician object. So physician, sorry, physician dot new. I'm gonna give it a name. So f one dot name. It will be, for example, um, doctor. I don't know, doctor John. So this is my uh, my uh, physician object. I'm gonna save it to my database now. That's it. So I have a record inside my uh, physician stable with the name of John now. Uh, after that, I'm going to create two um, patient uh, objects. So uh, patient one dot new. So part one dot name will be uh, James. I'm going to save this to my database. So uh, part one dot save sorry so part one dot save uh, i think there is an, an error here uh, 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 uh part one dot save what is the problem here so part one so this is my uh, my patient object let me check what is the problem here? So part one dot save and this object part will save it to my database. Okay, and now I'm going to create another patient object. So part one patient dot new and this one will um, have name of um, of Mary. Okay, so I will save this to my database okay and now I'm going to create uh, an appointment object for each uh, for each uh, patient so uh, up one uh, will be appointment object appointment dot new I'm going to set so now, as you can see here, the uh, fields patient ID and physician ID. So um, this this appointment will be between the uh, our only uh, physician, which is which is John. So it has an ID of one, and um, and uh, between uh, John, which is our first patient, which has an ID of one. So um, up one that patient ID will be one and uh, up one that physician physician ID will be one two okay and now I'm going to save this to my database up one that save so now I have an appointment between uh, the physician with ID, with ID 1 and the patient with ID 1. We will check this later. 
and now I'm going to create another appointment 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 not new sorry so this is the point here so appointment okay up to that that uh, patient ID will be two because we have two uh, patients inside our database uh, John and uh, Mary Mary has an ID of two so patient ID will be two and uh, up to that physician ID will be one because we have only one uh, physician inside our database so up to that save so we have saved this uh, patient uh, this appointment object to my da our database so now we have two appointments two patients and one doctor and this doctor have two appo uh, appointments with two different patients uh, so now I'm going to uh, check how many uh, patients our um, doctor uh, John have so um, let me just remember so is this P1 I think so P1 is our Dr. John so uh, P1 that uh, patients so as you can see here it returns uh, a collection of uh, object collection uh, actual record association collection proxy so it returns to uh, a list so the first patient is James and the second one is Mary and uh, we can add for example dot all and it, re it will uh, return all uh, the patients of this specific uh, physician so it returns James and uh, and Mary here so now um, for example if we want to see the doctors of uh, a specific patient for example let me uh, just part one which is James so if I want to see the doctors of James so part one that uh, physicians physicians so as you can see it returns uh, a collection and uh, here uh, in this example uh, James has one doctor which is Dr. John so um, this is all about the uh, has many through association and uh, um, uh, in the next video we'll uh, continue with the other type of association so see you then bye bye